Hello everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast and it's a glorious Monday the 7th of December today and it's really cold. You can see by this clock that it's quarter past one and we are in Kirkham. Now apologies to anybody that lives in Kirkham but I, am, I can't say that I'm particularly familiar with this town. I mean number one, number one I'm not I'm not a native Clevelandonian, or whatever you call it. Um, and number two, it's, it's, I think it's only about the third time I've been to Kirkham. So I've done a little bit of research and I've just had a little look round. So I'm going to take a walk round and see what we can see. It's a beautiful afternoon for it. And I've got to say, so far, I'm, I'm right impressed. There are some lovely, lovely shops. Um, bear in mind, quite a few of them are closed anyway because we're in, we're still in tier three coronavirus. That that little florist over there at the side of the um, lamp post is a lovely little shop. Rotary Centennial Clock, two thousand and five, restored by Fylborough Council because obviously now we're in Fylde, the borough of Fylde, the the Fylde coast, and this is the borough of Fylde. Um, so we are kind of midway between Blackpool and Preston, adjacent to another place called Wesham. So they're often known together as Kirkham and Wesham. So did you know that it was originally called Kirkham in Amounderness? And if you've been watching Visit Felt Coast for some time, you'll know that Amounderness is the name for the old administrative areas in in this neck of the woods. So we'll have a nose in some of the shops on our way past. I think they're getting ready for hopefully reopening. The dry cleaners is open. Crumbs is open. Oh, that looks very nice. Um, when I was looking at my, my stuff last night, there's some really nice bits over here actually. At Morrison's, let's just cross this road without getting... It's a very busy road, this. I noticed it's supposed to be a 20 mile an hour speed limit, but I don't think most of them are doing 20. What does this say here? Kirkham in Bloom. Winners of Northwest in Bloom, 1992, 2004, and Britain in Bloom, 1996 and 2003. Supported by Kirkham Town Council. And this is a really pretty little spot. So they've got a they've got a crown which was presented to Kirkham in by Kirkham in Bloom on the occasion of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 2012. Is it that long ago? Goodness me, it doesn't seem five minutes. And here there's a nice sculptural tree which I thought was very attractive. And that's got its fairy lights on look ready for ready for when it goes dark. And that's the Tree for All Seasons, presented to the per people of Kirkham by the Committee of Kirkham in Bloom. So Kirkham in Bloom have obviously been very busy, even though we've had lockdown troubles and whatnot. And here is the supermarket, Morrison's, for you to get all your comestibules. It's a busy little spot, actually, because obviously there is a... There is a ring road around the edge of the town that takes you by car um, straight past if you're not wanting to actually come into town. So one will presume that all these cars have got a reason to be here. So this was erected by the inhabitants in commemoration of the Queen's Jubilee in 1887. Not the same Queen. Obviously that was Queen Victoria. And that's a rather nice little light and look at the sky look at that for beautiful blue sky now a, f a friend and, and colleague of mine lives in Kirkham so I, I know from talking to her that there are loads of volunteers in this little town that do all kinds of things to look after it and keep it keep it busy and all the rest of it this is Kirkham United Reformed Church. It's lovely that. 
Bet that looks lovely lit up from inside. I used to love listening to bells chiming. We, the, the church where I got married, when I, when I was a little kid, they used to do bell ringing on a Sunday. Oh, and I did listen, like to listen to the bells. Anyway, going back to my research, one thing I didn't know when I started looking up interesting things about Kirkham is that it originally was based around Car Hill, and I'm sure you're all familiar with Car Hill School because it's that's on the main road as well as you as you pass through the um, go on the Ring Road. Um, and that was originally the location of a Roman fort. There you go, you didn't know that, did you? And probably the earliest inhabited locality in the Fylde area. And the name comes from the Danish kirk. Oh, wait for the bus. The Danish kirk, which means church, and the Saxon ham, which means settlement. I've just paused for a look in this shop. That's, that's nice. Nice little gift shop look. They've got some lovely stuff in there. This is, this is Serendipity House. And they sell gifts, jewellery and home accessories. And they're open. It's a bit quieter than you might perhaps expect it to be, but that's because it's very cold and a lot of the shops are shut. Bulk, bean and ice cream. Oh, that looks like my kind of shop. It's a shame I've not got time to go in it. Pre-slack, we've got one of those in Cleveland. So in the Doomsday Book of 1086, Kirkham is listed. That looks another interesting shop as well, Maimond. Used to be a, a Grundy's in Kirkham. I don't know whether it's still here. It was on the main road. We had a Grundy's in, uh, in Cleveland, like Grundy's. Always used to end up buying something. And the market charter was actually granted in 1269 to 70 by Henry III. So that's a bit of um, bit of ancient history, isn't it, here? This is being developed. Don't know what into. Developed by Thorpe and Sons. The original factory shop. Oh, goodness. From the late 1600s, Kirkham was a, a big textile centre, and I didn't know that either. And back in the day when people used to do weaving and things in their own cottages, um, in the 1830s, people were making sailcloth at home. And then later on, the flax mill was built in 1861. And looms ran from 1850 to 2003, and by 1876, a thousand people were employed locally in mills. Oh, I think I might have just found Grundy's. Yes, Grundy's. Well, well, well. Now, if you've if you've been coming to Cleveland for a long time, you'll remember Grundy's. You used to love going in Grundy's. And I think in the end, the clothes because the. Rents were so astronomical. One of those shops that's got all the stuff that you want. These little steel buckets, they're nice. I like them. Proper. In fact, you can smell the smell of ironmongers wafting out of the door. That sort of. I don't know what it is. It's a particular. It's a particular smell that ironmongers have. Oh, I wonder if they've got any sweeping brush handles. My dad's got a request in, and everybody sells sweeping brushes complete. So, going back to the, the weaving, at Lower Station, Ro Lower Station Road, put my teeth in, there is actually the last loom of Kirkham on public display. 
and that would have originally been able to make velvet twills and bedford cord and that's a red telephone box that's why i just stopped there don't see many of them do you another diy shop clothes props wooden clothes props goodness me i can remember my having them and sweeping brush handles that's mine on the way back so you might know that Lowry was partial to a, a trip to Fleetwood not Fleetwood yes I think it is good to Fleetwood but not end and there is actually a Lowry statue at not end at the side of the 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 quay um, and he painted this area quite a lot in a lot of the things that he did and apparently he also um, had a thing for Kirkham and in 1925 he used Church Street as one of his subjects I've actually found a road name that's Poulton Street um, but then in 1935 he painted it again in a painting called the Lancashire, a Lancashire Village and there are 20 listed buildings in and around Kirkham pet shop Betting shop, chemists, another chemists, chiropodists. What a lovely little town. Ah. Ooh, she says, falling off the edge of the step. So I'm still not quite sure where the railway station is. I know that serves Kirkham and Wesham. So... Um, I'll apologise to, to, to anybody that is local and, and thinks I've, thinks I've um, forgotten half of the story. But perhaps if there's something that I've missed, you could just pop a, a comment below, share the video with your friends, and if you've not already subscribed for the Visit File Coast YouTube channel, please do so. Um, and we'll probably come back one day on a sunny day. And until then, from the lovely sunny Kirkham, with free parking, we will bid you a good day and we will see you soon. Bye for now.